Let's bring in Tom Homan, former ICE director under President Trump. Tom, thank you for taking time on a Saturday. Will we add now to this problem the fact that when I have been covering the caravans, there are migrants from all over the world to include African countries. What is your reaction to the news of this new variant and the problem on the border? I think the Biden administration needs to take Title 42 seriously. Now, under Trump, Title 42, everybody was turned back because of the uh, pandemic. In, in the entire time, in the four months uh, President Trump had the Title 42 on his command, I think they released a total of 56 people into the United States because they had significant medical concerns. But look, right now, 85% of family units are being let in regardless of Title 42. All unaccompanied alien children let in regardless of Title 42. And many single adults who have issues that have been released in the United States. So I think this is the time President Biden has already stopped travel from uh, African nations. You know for a fact 150 countries come to your southern border. Now's the time to take Title 42 seriously and stop people from coming to the United States during this crisis. And interestingly, Tom, the ban on travel from those countries doesn't stop until Monday, a very interesting time frame. You would think they would have done it right away. They did issue today this do not travel to those countries. But what we have seen and I have documented is the pipeline that goes from all places across the world, from South America through that Panamanian jungle, all the way through Central America, all the way to our border this comes as we hear the administration may be trying to reinstate remain in Mexico. Now, Mexico has not agreed to that. I tweeted just about an hour ago the fact that they said they're awaiting a response from the U.S. So my question to you is, what will that do? If they did do that, would it help? And do you think they're going to? They're going to do everything they can to slow roll it. They don't want this to be successful. Remember, when they, were, they had to be sued to do this, right? I was a part of that lawsuit. I actually wrote an affidavit for Texas in that lawsuit. And they're going to be, and, and when, the, when the court found against them, it says, no, you must implement Remain in Mexico to help secure the border. What did the Biden administration do? They appealed that decision to secure the border. So look, they're not taking this seriously. They're gonna slow roll it. I, I don't think they're gonna uh, have it at the, at the level the Trump administration did. I'm hearing rumors from my sources inside that look like maybe 200 removals a day to the remain of Mexico. Under, under Well, these things happen. The, the uh, technical challenges of uh, live television will work on getting Tom back, but what Tom was talking about there is this sort of back and forth between whether or not remain in Mexico, which has been court ordered, will be put in place. And I was telling Tom about the fact that Mexico has not yet agreed to do it. It's a two way street. Remain in Mexico has to be agreed on both sides. Now, what it would do is for all migrants that are applying for asylum will have to wait in Mexican cities. That includes Tijuana, Juarez and Matamoros. Those cities already on the Mexican border are bursting at the seams with migrants. You would be now adding a lot more people. Mexico's main concern, according to a release yesterday, is that they want the United States to provide and give access to medical care and vaccination against COVID-19. All of this coming at this news of the Omicron variant being unleashed. You're looking now at our flight Fox team there in La Jolla and in the conversations I have had in just the last 24 hours with Border Patrol agents there, they're very concerned about this and the lack of enforcement. I think we've got Tom back. Tom, I want to come back to you because you were just weighing in on whether or not this Remain in Mexico policy is going to be reinstated and if it would help. I think they're going to slow roll it. I think it's going to be a, a small fraction what the Trump administration did. Rumors that I hear from my sources on the side that look at maybe up to 200 removals a day. And you, when you talk about six or 7,000 arrests a day and only removing 200, that's going to have a very small impact. If they did it the way Trump did it, it would have, look, Trump, it was a game changer for, for, for Trump administration. It, it, it caused an 86% decline in illegal immigration, 35 year low. And most of it was because of the Remain in Mexico program. Biden should take a page out of the Trump handbook and implement the same way he did it, but they're not going to do it that way. Tom, I think it really, what we really need to hit today is how concerned are you to see no change in this surge. Already the October numbers double that of last October, November already passing last November. The surge continuing, little being done by the administration to stop it. 
meeting with this new COVID variant? Look, it's more than immigration issue. I don't care what people's opinion is on illegal immigration. This has turned into a public health issue because of this COVID variant, because of uh, the opioids coming across, the fentanyl coming across, over killed a over already killed 100,000 young Americans this year. We're talking about criminals, more to arrest 10,000 criminals. How many of that 400,000 gotaways are criminals? And I heard Brandon Judd last night talk about they're estimating 600,000 gotaways this year. And on top of all that, it's a national security issue. When half of the border patrol is not on the line because you're processing family units, that's when bad guys come across. That's when cartels will move people with known suspected terrorists can come across the country. Border Patrol already arrested 14 on the FBI screening database. How many of that 400,000 were known suspected terrorists? This is a huge issue for this nation. It's a national security issue. And last question, with just the 15 seconds we got left, should we be hearing from Secretary Mayorkas about this? Secretary Mayorkas, every time he opens his mouth, he's lying to the American people. That, that he, he's an embarrassment to the position he holds. He still says the border's secure. He still says the border's closed. Tell me, 1.7 million entrants and 400,000 gotaways, you, you, and, and they had 600,000 releases. They chose to release 600,000 people into this country. That's not a secure border. That's an open border, and this is their design. This isn't mismanagement. This isn't incompetence. This is their plan open borders, and they're not going to attempt to secure it. Former ICE Director Tom Homan. Tom, thanks for taking time.